You know, infrastructure isn't exactly a buzzword unless we're talking about old pipes and potholes. This time is different. This week could be monumental for Kansas City, the metro, and our region. And that's not hyperbole. In two days, we and the world will start to see the new version of the Kansas City International Airport, the result of the largest infrastructure project in Casey's history. And what a journey it's been. Nearly four years after crews got to work with jackhammers and shovels, the one and a half billion dollar terminal is almost ready to go. The public got its first look last weekend during a special open house and during a test run days before that. My impression is it's going to be fabulous. I worried because I loved the old airport. It was so quick and easy and it, this one will be even better. I think it's going to be great. It's certainly a lot to take in and a far cry from the old terminals we've seen for the last half century. All in all, the new KCI terminal boasts 40 gates with the ability to expand to 50 in the future. 43 works of art showcasing international and several local artists, 16 retail shops and 33 dining options for travelers, mostly based here in the metro. And it's not just about the food. One goal at the new terminal is to make travel less stressful and accessible to everyone. There are gender neutral bathrooms, family restrooms, nursery rooms. There's even a quiet room to escape the bustle of the airport and a sensory room designed for travelers with autism, dementia or other sensory processing challenges. And if you're traveling with kids, you're covered. Variety KC partnered with the airport to create this play zone designed with every child in mind. Supporters say it's the first inclusive play zone at any international airport. It's an opportunity for kids to really put their tablets down, to engage with other children and to use their imaginations. Everyone wants to create dreams of where they want to fly to and where they want to adventure off to. And this playground is going to be a great opportunity for them to do that. The inclusive play zone has smooth surfaces, low platforms and transfer stations so that kids with reduced mobility can still get around and play. Anyone with a ticket can enjoy the play zone at any time at the airport without a reservation. Understandably, there's a lot of fanfare about the opening itself, but what's noticeable here is the change, the business, the growth this new terminal and first impression could bring. Recently, I tagged along for the public tour to talk with airport staffers about the project and what it means for our area. I'm here at the new KCI terminal with Justin Meyer with the aviation department and uh, we're here uh, before the big opening but everybody gets to see it for the first time and this is something that I mean a passion project for you in the aviation department. What is it like to see it through their eyes? It's so delightful here at our public open house today. We expect 10,000 people to come through the facility seeing it all for the first time and just to watch the amazement and wonder as people walk in even to the ticketing hall that are getting that perspective of like wow just the overwhelming surprise has been really delightful. It's uh, much larger when you when you come in. You're, you're kind of blown away by the size compared to the the old terminals. I think that's the first thing that uh, passengers see when they get in. Yeah, I, it's a it's a different scale. Right. But certainly, we were committed to keeping walking distances short. Uh, we think it's still a very convenient facility to use, and quite honestly, believe that convenience is more than just short walks. Right? It's about adequate restrooms and enough seats in the gate areas that people aren't sitting on the floor. And we deliver on all of those. I mean, we're seeing uh, local restaurants, local businesses represented here. How much of that? Was, was key to this project. We wanted to build a terminal that's for Kansas City. We want people to feel like they're home, right? And the things that make us proud to be from this region, we want to be reflective of that. Just today, if you walk over onto the B node, uh, the uh, the competition team, the barbecue team that won the competition to be in the barbecue restaurant there, they're, they've got their smokers going. So they're burning hickory today. It smells amazing on B Concourse right now. What benefit economically does having a, a larger, more captable airport have for Kansas City? I, th I think it's, it's, it's a fact that our airlines have reduced uh, or limited capacity at the existing facilities because there are situations where um, with larger aircraft, there might not be enough space in the gate areas for all those passengers. So we're aware that airlines have intentionally throttled back Kansas City, and we're removing those hurdles now. So to watch our airlines growing again, we're back to pre-pandemic levels of service by the summer. Southwest Airlines starts a new flight to Long Beach, California just next month. So all of that's in the very near future for us. Are you hearing that from airlines saying, okay, we're going to throw more resources now at KCI? Yeah, we are. I mean, this was never a build it and they will come project. It was never a promise of more flights, but we knew that there were limitations that the existing facility had. So again, by removing some of those limitations, we're hopeful that we create a better place for our airline partners and welcoming our new our newest airline in June when Sun Country shows up. 
I like what you've called uh, KCI before as like the front door mm -hmm. to Kansas City, and, and it's uh, first impressions are so key. Uh, how do you think this first impression will go over? I think it's something that we can all be really proud of. I think it feels like Kansas City here. Uh, it's a welcoming, warm facility. It's really easy to use. And uh, it's that friendly touch point that I think is so reflective of who we are as people here in the heart of America. So we've got a couple days to go before we officially switch to this terminal. What's going on at the old terminals? Because, I mean, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of equipment to try to kind of move the airlines in and, and get started here. Yeah, it'll be an overnight move the night of February 27th. We shut down terminals B and C and everything comes over here. And not everything, I mean, there's you know some resources that, that are completely new or pieces that will be replaced. But the most exciting thing will probably be the movement of 31 airplanes that have parked on B and C that need to come over here, be it under tow power or under taxi power, to be relocated on, on boarding bridges here so that when the morning starts that our first flight, that 5 a.m. flight to southwest to Chicago, is ready to go. That's a good point. You think about logistics because they have to bring passengers here first in the old terminal and then you just got to pack up and move. Yep, it's going to be a big move, for, an exciting night for us and we hope that uh, hope that you're here to, to participate. For sure, Justin Meyer with the Aviation Department, good luck and, and congratulations on the success. Thank you, it's been a real team win. Couple of important notes here as you prepare for flights from the new terminal. The airport's website will be different moving forward, so go to flykc.com for more information and staffers say you should budget some extra time the first time you go. My suggestion is to come early to make sure you find the parking, you understand the roadway systems, you know where security's at. A lot of it is intuitive and we'll have the signage there and the press, you know, to cover it. That's right, we'll be there every step of the way. Look to KNBC 9 News for reports on the changeover to the new terminal leading up to Tuesday when this new chapter in Kansas City takes flight.